Gary, um, what are your thoughts on today's game? First and foremost, I'm, there's, a, there's a few positives I can take from the game because the chances that we created in terms of getting Jason down the right side, they probably didn't do it as much as we should have done with Sean down the other side. But we identified that through the week. I, mean, I, see, I think it was evident in the game, as I say, a lot of our better play came from obviously the areas that we thought we could go and exploit. And other side of things, the goals that we lost, I see, extremely disappointed. It's probably been the story of our season so far. So just the goals are far too easily conceded, and it just probably needs a wee bit more concentration in terms of matching the run. And say so we put that to the boys during the week as well. And say so we knew they would be strong and they would be going hurt us. So say so the first three goals, fourth goal is obviously disappointing for Mark, and he knows that. But so it's just one of those things that we need to move on now. We need to put this to bed so because for the club. Um, next week's game is a huge game. I say we're sitting bottom of the league at this moment in time, and it's up to us to turn that around and get ourselves up the league. Uh, you were kind of thrown in the, to the Lions' den a wee mm -hmm. bit during the week there. What was your preparation like for today? Uh, preparation was excellent. Obviously, it was very short space of time, but I say we managed to put a game plan in place in terms of how we wanted to come here and try and frustrate Celtic. We wanted to try and keep the ball. That's what we were planning to do, keep the ball in one area of the pitch and then we switch it to the other side and try and obviously exploit them down there. You see, I think we were a wee bit wasteful in our possession, but when we managed to actually do it and we got Jason free, and again it showed up that we could do it. But I see, the preparation was great. You see, we've done everything, we've done a lot of video analysis stuff on them, and we obviously put the game plan to the boys. And you see, I thought they were excellent in terms of their effort and desire. You see, hopefully over the next few weeks that will carry us a long way. So, looking forward to next week, uh, how do you approach that game? We've got to approach that game with a belief and a confidence that we're going to go and get a result. Everything that we do this week will be for us to go and get a result. We'll reiterate to them how important it is to the club. This game next week, maybe we should approach it as a one-off cup final, you see, because maybe we should be approaching every game like that. From now, obviously, to the end of the season, the predicament we're in. But, see, everything will be positive. The belief that I'll put to the players, to go and encourage them to get on the ball, to be brave taking the ball, because when we're down here, it's maybe easy, you can go and hide and maybe want to take it. So, see, I'll go to them and I'll say, we're all good players. See, you've got to be brave on the ball. You've got to be willing to take it. You've got to be willing to also help your mate. If you lose possession, by getting it back. You've got to have that desire to work hard. And finally, what would you like to say to the St Martin fans tonight? Yeah, I'd just like them obviously to stick with us. I say this, for my time I've been at the club, the fans have been excellent. Obviously since the summer onwards, um, the results have been poor and they've obviously vented their frustrations, but I'd love the fans just to come with us. I'd love them to come out next week with the size, obviously, the importance and everything else that goes with it with the size of the game. Then I say I'd love them to come along and back us.